Hello, my name is Veronica Mude, and uh, today I would like to briefly take you through uh, the form builder interface in OpenMRS. And uh, let me log into the system. So this is the loading page once you log into the system. And on your right, we have the app menu uh, icon. And if you click on that and click on system admin, it will take you to where now you are able to move on to the form builder. And uh, once you're here, this page basically uh, shows you the forms, the other forms that have been built. As you can see, uh, we have the name of the form, the version, whether the form has been published or not, and uh, if it's retired, and uh, some actions allowed uh, editing of the schema, downloading, and the uh, deletion of the schema. So we want to go to uh, create a new form so that we might now see the two main interface uh, and also we are going to look at the key features and functionalities uh, that are going to be very useful as we build our forms. So we do have um, two main uh, sections here, the schema editor and the interactive builder. So for the schema editor, um, this section is uh, really designed for the technical users. Uh, the developers, for example, those who have the skills on how to do the coding, they can basically use this uh, schema editor uh, to directly manipulate their form using JSON or other technical format, uh, providing, and this provides them with full control over the form structure and the functionality. Uh, on my light is the interactive builder. And this section is really perfect for the non-technical users. So if you are non-techy and you really would like to build your form uh, and you don't know how to do the coding, no need to worry. The interactive builder really uh, will enable you or offers you a drag and uh, drop interface where you can visually design your forms without having to write any code no code at all. So you simply select and arrange the elements uh, that you need. But of course, for the complex uh, functionalities that you might need within your form uh, or validations, or you might need some help because that might uh, require you to use the schema editor. And uh, that is, uh, but basically basic build, you should be able to use interactive builder to really get uh, your form uh, built in there. Uh, for now, I just wanted to cover uh, that in this for this session. Uh, as we proceed, uh, you'll be able to see um, uh, these features. We'll be able to explain further uh, the use of these features, and we'll also start building the forms um, and see how that comes along. Thank you very much for listening and uh, see you soon. Bye.